It's not the size of the dog in the fight. It's the size of the fight in the dog. Theodore O'Connor spends much of his time looking up. Standing a hair shy of 14 two hands, he jumped onto the international radar screen at the 2007 Rolex Kentucky three-day event with a third place finish in his first CCI four-star. Teddy made it clear that he was well-armed for the fight against horses who towered over him. With Olympic veteran Karen O'Connor in the saddle, Teddy arrived in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil for the Pan American Games and found himself in the leadoff spot for the American eventing team. He then put in his best dressage performance to date. The cross-country course, though not huge, was twisty and demanding. But Teddy scampered around the Deodoro countryside easily and by the end of the day found himself perched atop the leaderboard. He cantered into the show jumping phase and defied gravity again. Teddy secured Karen her first individual gold medal and cemented his place in history, proving that size doesn't matter. Bred by P. Wynn Norman, an innovative horsewoman from Florida and owned by the Theodore O'Connor Syndicate, Teddy has many other firsts this year, including being the first pony named the U.S. Eventing Association's Horse of the Year and the first one to compete at the Rolex Kentucky CCI Four Star. With three-quarter thoroughbred, one-eighth Shetland, and one-eighth Arabian blood running through his veins, he exhibits the ability, tenacity, and quirkiness of each of the breeds. He is spring-heeled and has a horse-sized stride. Scope, endurance, speed, heart, movement, and courage all coexist in his 900-pound frame. When Teddy arrived in the O'Connor's barn in 2005, Karen O'Connor had already established her career with Olympic medals on giant horses. But with two gold medals from this summer's Pan American Games, Theodore O'Connor proved that the size of the pony in the fight doesn't matter either.